Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What a week we have had. We came up to Canberra for just a weekend, um, just to see Damo. And then we had to go up to Sydney on Saturday because I had a few appointments up in Sydney. And on our way to Sydney, we were driving up, everything perfect. And then all of a sudden, pull over, we go to take off again and my car decides it doesn't want to go. What? Freeway's 110, it wouldn't even reach 80 Ks. I put my foot flat to the ground. What the fuck? So what turned into a three hour drive to Sydney took us, God, forever. We bought this Hyundai Veloster SR Turbo, brand new six years ago. Hadn't had a drama with it, it's been great until the drive to Sydney and it decided to not want to go. So we had to wait till Monday, we were meant to head home Monday. So we had someone watching the dogs. Big shout out to Bianca, Tamika and Alira for watching the dogs longer than need be. Like fast. So thank you very much for that. Really appreciate it. So we're going to Hyundai on Monday to check out the car because I just thought maybe it's gone into some limp mode. Dropped that off in the morning, went back at lunchtime to be told that there's nothing they can do that I need a whole new engine. Um, the engine's shit. So that was their result pretty much. So we were sort of stranded up here, missing out on work, the kids missing out on school, whole drama over this car. So we're on our way to get, pick up my new car. We got an Audi S3, um, which has been a bit of a headache buying a car interstate due to the registration. We've had to wait for the new plates to be sent up so it could be registered in our home state. So it's finally ready and we finally get to go pick it up and finally get to head home. But your car will tell you when it's low, okay. and it will tell you when it's out of oil, it will tell you when it's out of coolant, it will tell you everything. So there's really no need to worry. Oh, it's Did you want to name your car? Did you think of a name? If anyone needs to connect to your front car, just say look for Patricia. <laughs> She'll help you out. We'll go up the top to car. Now, we've got a little red toggle here. So that means we can toggle left on the joystick. So we go left and it opens up more menus. So left on the joystick is more things to do inside the menu. Right is settings and how to set so it up. So that just pushes the, oh yeah. Yeah, you just toggle that like yep. that. You can push this button here too. That's really what's desirable, but I find toggling's easier. And if you notice here, it also has the same button. See? So you get the oh, same yeah. things where you can change it. So. Audi side assist, so that's just in here. And that's your blind spot indicator. So when somebody's in your blind spot, that'll be illuminated for you. Yep. Active lane assist. So this is the other day that's self-driving that I showed you. Yep. Which is the button up here. Okay, so you got your two lines here. Yep. And if you look over to the bottom right, you got the two grey lines now. Yeah. Once they're green, it has read the road. Remember it's from 65 and above, oh, that yep. will work. If you don't like the feature, push that, disable the system, yep. okay? But it's on early for you to now, so have a play with it and see how it goes while you're on the road. Yeah. So cool. No hands! Look at this! No hands! This is really strange. Really strange. I don't think I like it because it just feels real strange. But yeah. Auto recirculate, so if the car senses bad air, it'll actually put it on recirculate for you. Um, so you're not getting the bad air in the car. Huh. Alright, that's your car set up. Now, when you push your menu button and you go up to there, a default will be drive select. 
okay you do have a shortcut button here which you can push and you can just keep toggling that to go through your different drive modes okay yep so you hear dynamic the revs change the engine to open up a little bit it changes you go into comfort changes uh, yeah so it'll change as you go along the more you drive it to the exhaust will settle in and whilst on the highway i'd probably go efficiency yep and um, that's the easiest way but i'll show you a little trick so if you hold this set that now all you got to do is while you're on the highway and whilst you drive around just push that and then you can toggle between all your different drive modes oh awesome yeah so you don't have to worry about that and off you go that'll answer the phone and hang it up that'll answer the phone and hang it up and so will that if you go left, so here's those things that I told you about. So you got left and right. That means you go left and right if you see that one. So you go left. You got your favourites, directory, and dial number. Your favourites, you've got to put them individually by just going through the numbers and storing them as a favourite. Yeah. But you know, with your directory being so easy to search just by writing on a pad. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's pretty easy. I was trying to think the other day the park assist that you did. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that just putting a button on? Yeah, this bump system. So. That's right, we gotta go with that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, you're in drive, you see your park coming up, push the steering wheel button. Yeah, that's before you get there. Yep. Yep. Blinker on so it knows which side, and then you'll keep driving along until, remember, it had an open space there, yep. and that little arrow going in like that. Yep. Once that pops up, foot on the brake, put it in reverse, hands off the steering wheel, and you control the brake. And all you gotta do is watch what that thing's telling you. It'll tell you to stop, and it tells you to put it in forwards, and then you go forwards. Yep. Yeah. And that's, yeah, it's nice and easy. Once you push that, blinker on, it'll tell you when to stop and it's found a park. Yep. Yeah. Great hazard lights. Yep. Okay. Traction control. Should never turn that off. And that puts the screen down. Oh, uh, yep. Now, the only time that screen's going to come up is if you put your foot on the brake for a second. As so you go into reverse, it'll come back up. Yep. Once you drive away and go over 20 kilometers an hour, it will then pop back down. Yep. yep. Automatic handbrake. So we'll do that before you go out because you've got to have your seatbelt on, it's got to be in gear, doors closed to activate it the first time. So, what's that? so when you stop it automatically goes? It puts the handbrake on here. Yep. So see how it's red at the moment? Yep. It'll go to green. So at traffic lights, you can sit there, it'll be green, and you take your foot off the brake, leave it in drive, and just sit there. To disengage it, you just accelerate and drive away. Easy. Heated seats, three is the hottest, warmest, coolest. That top one is all your car settings, okay? So scrolling through here, so that's your time, short-term memory, long-term memory, so energy consumption, how much energy your uh, air conditioning is using, and then you've got uh, driver assistance program. There's also just here to reset your trip down the bottom as well. So that's your overall, okay, it's 21 k. Yeah. You can actually change that display by going view, and that shrinks it down, okay? and then it's just larger. Or, you've got lap times too and lap statistics in here, so if you take it to the track, you can have a bit of fun. You can change the layout, so see in the middle there, that's the one you're on now, or you can change it to be like that. Okay. I'll just show you this one for instance. You can't do this whilst you're driving. So you've got two screens, it's all in the middle now. Okay. And that'll still operate the same. Sunroof. One little push, cracks it, and then it pulls it down. Okay? And if you give it a good push, that'll open it and you can stop it wherever you want. Yep. Yeah. And then that's this one. You can have that open. Yeah. Yeah. that I ever got. I will miss it. It's been good. <laughs> but I like my new car. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Thank you, Damo. Gold digger. <laughs> <laughs>
Come to Audi and see Nick, he's the best. <laughs> Done it? Yeah! <laughs> Not only do you get a new car, but you actually get to go home. Yeah, I know. It's a double bonus. And it's also Halloween, so it's a triple bonus. And it's Halloween, yes. Well, I miss out on trick or treating now. <laughs> Okay, so I've had the car for about three days now and it's fucking amazing, I'll tell you that much. Absolutely love it, it's a dream to drive. Um, I love the fact that it's got all the different drive modes, so if you don't want to be sporty all the time, just want to cruise along, you can put it in different modes, like the comfort mode and efficiency. We took it out last night uh, in the rain and it handled really good. Put it in sports mode, took off at the lights, there was no traction lost, it just gripped to the road. It's a great family car. You get a double whammy, you get the sports car and a family car. There's plenty of room. In the back also, we have, you've got the, have a look at these guys. ISO clips for a car seat, so you can clip your car seats in there. The kids love it, they said they've got plenty of room in the back. Handles amazing, comfortable, great family car, which is the reason we got it. The kids loved it on the long trip because you also have Wi-Fi. So in here, you come have a look at this one in here. It's got your DVD player and you've also got where you put your data sim in there so you can have Wi-Fi going the kids can watch their YouTube uh, their Netflix in the back uh, makes the trip so much better when the kids are quiet in the back amazing there are so many features on the car I'm still getting used to it can't use it all yet <laughs> there's so much to use but Audi have thought of everything uh, the attention to detail is fantastic I love one of my features that I love is the air vents you're not limited to where they go you can put them in any direction you want, which is a fantastic feature, I thought. Yeah, so as you can see, you can click your buttons here, um, little shortcuts to use the screen. Otherwise, if the screen is down, they just pop up here with your little different shortcuts. It handles amazing. I love the feel of the steering wheel. I've never had a steering wheel this shape, I guess. It's comfortable to drive. If you're not looking to be in a sports mode all the time, you just flick it over change your thing, go to comfort, auto, individual, dynamics is your sports mode. But the way it handles is amazing. So we'll go for a little drive. So as you can see, the handling is really good. It's really smooth. Um, turning the corners, it feels really light. Um, with my other car, it was quite heavy, being a front wheel drive, my old car. Um, quite heavy turning around the corners. This being all wheel drive is a lot smoother. Um, you don't seem to lose any traction, turning, even in the wet, it's been fantastic. Fuel efficiency wise, we've, it's been pretty awesome. We drove back from Canberra, um, fantastic. We had it in efficiency mode on the freeway, um, really good fuel economy, uh, a lot better than my old one, so loving that part of it too. So that pretty much sums it up. If you're looking to buy an Audi, I highly recommend it. We are so happy with our purchase. The attention to detail in these Audis is absolutely amazing. People at Audi were absolutely amazing, so helpful. Um, so if you're looking to buy one, we give it a big thumbs up. For now, till next time, we're Audi here.